So for today's video, I'm going to be doing just a really simple and easy natural makeup look that I just wanted to share with you guys when I don't really feel like heavily putting on makeup and just like making my face look really cakey and just overall too dressed up or too overdone or whatever on my face and I just want to have like a natural look and just kind of have an easy makeup day because I know sometimes it can take a long time to do a bunch of makeup on your face at least it does me it feels like it takes forever and today I'm just not really in the mood to do that we are actually going camping later anyway so I'm gonna be outdoors I really don't need to be having makeup on at all today but for the sake of the video I wanted to film a video so um, I'm going to be just showing you guys this really quick and easy natural look that I like to wear and uh, maybe it'll give you some inspiration in I can't talk like ever. Maybe it'll give you guys some inspiration on a way to, um, if you just don't want to wear a lot of makeup, you know, just really simple and easy way. So I kind of debated if I wanted to do like a little chit chat uh, makeup look with you guys. I feel like the video would be too long if I did that though. So I don't know if I will be doing that, but I'll just like explain to you guys like what I'm doing in the video, I think, and maybe that'll work out good. But if you guys would like me to try to do one of those, because I know they're really popular, like chit chat, get ready with me, or whatever they are. But anyways, let's just go ahead and jump right into this makeup tutorial, and I'm not going to ramble anymore. Um, I just wanted to share with you guys the products that I was using before we start the, the makeup look. Um, I'm using the CoverGirl, um, the CoverGirl Clean Normal Skin Pressed Powder. Um, I'm not going to be doing foundation and powder today because that's what I like to do when I want my face to be really flawless. But since I'm going to be outdoors today and it's just going to be like kind of a natural look, I don't really feel like making myself look cakey and just kind of like, you know, fake. <laughs> Pretty much. No. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to be using this powder like this. Um, I think I bought it at Walmart and I really like it. I'm actually almost out of it. But um, I think I need to get a new collar because I think it's a little bit too light for my skin. Then I'm going to be taking the Maybelline New York Line Stiletto. And that is going to be, of course, my top eyeliner because that's all I really want to do is just wear like a little bit of top eyeliner. Um, the I'm using the Your Best Friend, which I'm pretty sure I can't use this stuff. Kind of allergic to it, but it doesn't seem to bother my eyebrows, which is weird. But when I was wearing their eyeshadow, it was really irritating them, so... I don't know. I'm still using this. Um, it's the Automatic Eyebrow Pencil in Universal Top. And I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows because I can't go without doing that, I feel like. And um, this is actually new. I just got this. It is Extreme Black Scandal Eyes Retro Glam by Rimmel London. And I really like this. It's really, really good. It makes my eyelashes look really full and... Even though I'm going for like a natural look, I like to put a good amount of mascara on just to kind of make me look a little bit more done, but not like overdone, I guess. But like, yeah, so I'm going to be using that. <laughs> and I got my Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Eraser or whatever. And I really like this and I use this for my under eyes and it just helps cover that stuff up. And then of course I have my Green Apple Chapstick that I'm going to be putting on my lips. Just a really simple, natural look. So that's what we're going to be using. So let's go ahead and get started.
Okay, so that is basically all that I do um, for this. Just more of like a, I really wouldn't say, I was calling it like a natural makeup look. But I think if you were going to be natural, you probably wouldn't do the on top eyeliner. You know, you probably would just do like some mascara, maybe some light powder and stuff. But I went ahead and did my eyeliner. Like this is the way that I like to wear my makeup like if I'm in a hurry or if I'm going, like I said, I'm going to be outside so I don't really need to wear a lot of makeup or if I'm getting ready for work and I don't have a lot of time to get ready. This is really, really quick. This is so much faster than taking time to prime my eyelids and to do an actual contouring, like contour my eyeshadow and contour my cheekbones with bronzer and everything else. Which, by the way, that's my favorite way to do my makeup because I look like I'm way put together but this way I feel like I'm put together too it's just it didn't take me as long to get put together if you know what I'm saying so I really like this it's quick and simple and I just wanted to share it with you guys it's really easy to do also I wanted to throw in that if you guys weren't aware um, if you guys have any like makeup fallout or anything like I do currently I need to go underneath my um, where I put mascara on my bottom lashes and normally I have to do it up here too like where I get mascara on my eyelids or something. I have to go in and clean it up. And I just wanted to say I really highly recommend tooth. Whoa. Q-tips. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys. I almost said toothpicks. I really highly recommend you guys use toothpicks to clean your makeup off. I'm such a dumbass. I really highly recommend Q-tips. These are my lifesaver for makeup. I actually have a little shot glass that says I love New York and they're filled up with q-tips right here on my vanity so I always have q-tips here when I'm doing my makeup they're like my best friend they get any kind of makeup fallout that I have off it's so simple and so easy so I'm pretty sure most of you guys know about q-tips to do your makeup like clean your makeup off but if you didn't know now you do and I can't live without having some q-tips when I'm doing my makeup because I always get something somewhere you know I'm not a very neat makeup doer but I try to but you know you know you know so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the video and give it a thumbs up for me and subscribe if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials I really like doing them they just take a little time to film you know and then the video ends up being like long but if you guys like that then I'm happy to do them for you um, subscribe to my channel I make new videos on this channel mostly every week but sometimes like I said, I've been focusing more on my main channel, which you guys should go check that out if you are not already. And definitely subscribe because we are almost to 600 subscribers on that channel. And I'm really, really happy about that and excited. So you should join the family. And yeah, that way you will be notified anytime I post a new video. And if you guys have any requests, leave them down below, like I always say. And hopefully... Yeah. <laughs> I was planning on actually filming a Pamper Night routine video this weekend, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get to again, so that's why I wanted to do something else for you guys, because I didn't get to post a video for my beauty channel this past week, and I wanted to make sure I had one for you guys to watch this week. But I hopefully will get to do the Pamper Night routine, because I was excited about that video. Hopefully this next weekend I will get to do that video um we're actually going to the camp tonight so I will not have time to film that I will be staying down there and yeah I won't be here to do that but hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video that I did and I love you guys very much and I'll see you guys in my next video bye everyone